Hello, I'm here today to talk you through the TKSA 11 shaft alignment tool. I'm going to show you how to correctly use and prepare the device for use. This is the kit and I'll be showing you how to use the device and the software that goes with it. With the laser head, magnetic base, mounting brackets, it's designed to be a quick and easy way of aligning shafts correctly. So the first thing to do is to fit the mounting brackets. I just need to make sure that the, the rod's correctly located. The V in the bracket sits on the shaft and the chain goes around the base of the shaft. The pin in the bracket locates in the chain and then you can just tighten the nut up to locate it all in position. Same on the other side. The V sits on top of the shaft. Pin in the bracket goes through the chain link and then it's just a case of tighten it back up. So it's always a good idea to make sure that they're just as a near as damn it by eye, just to give you an idea to make life a little bit easier in the future. So then put the magnetic base on. Just slides down. Needs to be just above the center height of the coupling. Then we put a reference bar on. This is what's going to record the measurement along with the laser device, which is exactly the same, just slides on. Let's just leave it just above the bar for now. The software will tell you how close it needs to be. So, switch the device on and then load up the app. So, the software tells you which features need to be measured in which order. So, the first one is the center distance of the coupling to the bracket to the side of the motor, which in this instance is 85 millimeters. So I'll just change that, 85. The next one is the distance from the back bracket to the first motor mounting position, which 50, which it already is, and then 80 between motor mounting positions. So we're all set on that. You can set the machine ID, you can set the tolerance. It's all very self-explanatory. Click done, the motor vanishes off and gives you a side-on profile view. The green highlighted arrow is where it needs to be rotated to. So in this instance, once it's in position, ask you to record and rotate up again to the next position. Goes green, record, and to the final position, Record again. So this gives me my set of initial measurements. So you can see we've got one tick in green, uh, three other factors that are out. So I want to align the device. So at this point, it's showing me that I need to add shims to those positions, which I would do or rem remove or add, whichever it is. I would say shim, shimming done. If this was out of alignment, it would tell me that there'd be values there to move backwards and forwards. And this, like that. You're then given the option to repeat the measurement again. When you repeat the measurement, that'll then confirm if what you were aligned is correct or not. It would then give me all ticks, click done, and it would then cr create me a report before and after showing the differences. And I'm then able to share this however I wanted.